Hey guys, Filthy Robot here, continuing our playthrough of EU4 with a Roomba, and we are kicking the crap out of Denmark again. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. I mean, I like yeah. it. It's good. It's fun. It's, it's good pastime. Yeah. So, so we, uh, we were looting while sieging. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yep. Um, you have a lot of spy network strength right now with England. All right, so we'll go fabricate. Yep. There and uh, we, I think we had picked up a second claim on Pomerania. I don't mind building up more spy network strength against Denmark or Pomerania, simply because we're going to be doing sieges against them, which will speed those up, but um, I don't know how much more we really need to spy on England. We already have claims on pretty much everything they own. We're not going to be able to take all of it in the next war anyway. So. Alright, so you can pull them out from somewhere else if you want. You want yeah. them where? Well, I don't know. Improve relations with the Pope, improve relations with France, yeah, yeah. Sweden. I like the papal stuff. Let's get some more. Let's get another. Yeah, as long as we're Catholic, it'd be nice to take advantage of it, right? It would. You never know. I mean, we might... Let's see. Where, where's the... Uh, I'm going to take a look at the religious map mode and see where else the... That's O, in case you didn't know the hockey. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. So, the the Protestant Centers of Reformation, by the way, they so there was one in Würzburg. Looks like the second one spawns in... Uh, in mid Jylland in Denmark, and the third one spawned in Stockholm. So those are going to be the Protestant centers. So it's pretty likely in the near future that Bohemia is going to become Protestant, just based on adjacency or you know uh, distance from Wurzburg. And when that happens, they are not allowed to be the emperor. Hmm. The emperor has to be Catholic right now. It's not good. So he'll lose the emperor status. Damn it! Stupid disease outbreak. Austrians oh, are at eighty percent. I want to pause. I just tried to hit spacebar. I don't know why I've never played on my own, so I don't know why spacebar would be relevant. But that's ten k armies just showed up. How come <laughs> we didn't have sight on that a second ago? Uh, and he's still moving to. He's locked in already. He's moving to. Colding. Okay. Most likely oh, he's so headed. We can get the colding. Yeah, he's either heading toward head toward the war goal, or he must be because otherwise he would have marched straight onto the army. I, I'm not really sure where he's going. I think he'll be fine. Oh, this okay. is this is great. This is great. This is great. Uh, try not to engage him until I can get my the, get the navy over there. Well, just, 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 just yep. yeah, just stay in Sealand. Okay. Just, just uh, is our guy there? It is uh, another. Okay, he's okay. just switched to Lowland. He's quite quick. This guy, two star yeah. general. He's got four four maneuver. Yeah. That's why he's so fucking quick. All right. Okay, our navy should be there soon. So I'm okay with this fight. Ten, ten on six. I mean, you should be fine. Yeah, we're we're bigger than him. In, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, and hopefully the navy will arrive that we can get a free stack wipe. Yeah, he is dead. He dead. Okay. Alright, we've got a pop-up during this. Okay. And the pop-up is... Uh... We can... Gain a level... A skill 3 natural scientist in London. Which one is natural scientist? Natural scientist is the production efficiency guy. It's an administrative advisor. Admin advisor. You just hired a level three admin Ad at half advice. price, so we yeah. already have one. We don't want to okay, swap. Okay, that's him. all right. If we say no, we can just gain fifty admin power. Nice. Yeah, that's really good. It's a good event. Yeah. Okay, our navy has engaged. We have won the siege. Very nice. Oh, we got the siege. Awesome. Okay, so six stacks. I'm gonna just bring our army back over. Oh, oh, he's he's given us the opportunity to stack wipe him again. Okay. Well. There's stuff happening right now. I'm going to move here. Okay, interesting. Looks like the French have just pieced out. We have 99 damn opinion. we got to wait one more year on this mission. Darn it. Steel. Okay. It's either that or we could send Castile some money. We could send him 25 ducats. 25? 25? Yeah, 25 just to, to buy up one opinion. What could, does the could mission work. do for us? Gives us 25 diplo points and I think some prestige. Yeah, 5 prestige. Do we need to buy that ahead of time? I, I usually do, because the, I, the way I look at it, the more often you can do missions, the more often you get Monarch points. Most of the time I take missions that give me Monarch points, so I want I don't want to wait a year. I want to do I want to finish the mission, take another mission. I'm willing to accept that because we might have some post-war missions that are easy to fulfill. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. if you want to accept that, I'm fine with that. So France just ended their war with England, and they lost. They ceded Armigny to England, and they paid 207 ducats. <laughs> what a terrible outcome for France. How did they manage to botch that so much? Because he's, oh he, he's a loser. Okay, you didn't even need the navy to block him. He just stack wiped him. Nice work. Okay, good. Okay, still, I'm going to move the navy in because we got a blockade on the other side now to block him. So we got to seize this other fort, right? I want to go there. I'm going to combine the army. Uh, actually, I don't need to combine the army. Yep. I would probably do it like this. You need uh, 
6,000 men minimum to siege Lubick. So I would take six infantry plus the cannon, take him to Lubick with no leader. Okay. It's because you don't need it, right? Because yep. he doesn't have any siege value. And then I would take the other half of the army and put half in Schleswig and half of it in Holston. Because we don't know from which direction they're going to come. Just need six. The risk would be if you put like a one stack that they could just come in and kill one of them. So you just split it up in both provinces until they're sieged and then you can combine them again. Okay. So I'm going to bring the larger stack down to uh, Windsor. Okay. Uh, it uses the boats for that, though. To, to where? To Wismar. Windsor, right? uh, no, Lubick. L there's, this, there's a little tiny fort in that little itty yeah, no, no, tiny no, no, province no, no, of Lubick. No, 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 no. Uh, we're, I think we're on the same page with this. I have the sieging army. That one's going to the little tiny territory. Yeah. I have the larger 10k army, which I was going to bring to Windsor. No, you want to go to Holston. Holston. Yeah. I thought you said Windsor. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we could use the boats to try to uh, to skip this, and, and it's probably going to no, be a good idea. But no, let's. This is, this is fine. We should finish occupying Denmark before we try to skip over into uh, Pomerania. Damn it, our Pomerania agent was kicked out again. Unfortunately, we do not have enough to blockade everything, but we are blockading Lubick, which is all we care about. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, okay. I guess what I should do here actually Ooh. is. Pop Denmark is landing five troops in Dithmarschen. That okay. province directly adjacent to you. All right, let's combine then. Uh, this is the 7K army that's sieging. This army will go here. Can I? If they can land there, I can ah. attack into it, right? What? <laughs> yes, you should have. You should have detached one infantry. You just gave up like 60% progress on that province. No big deal. Where are you seeing that? From what menu? Uh, well, okay. See how your army was here? Yeah. There was there was a little green bar ticking up. Showing how close you were to finishing on, on that. All of, on, on all Holston. of the display screens? On the actual map itself. Like, you see, while the army's stationary, you can see uh, the flag of Scotland, 11k, the morale of Scotland, the little attrition indicator, the 100% saying that you're going to take the fort for sure, and then that little tiny bar to the left of the 100 and to the right of the castle oh. will get green as it fills. And you were like 60% full, meaning you were 60% uh, of the way. Okay. That's so, fine. what I would have done is this you would have left one infantry behind and yep. pulled the rest. To maintain yep. your progress. Okay. But yes, you can definitely go kill that army right now, and you should. Because Denmark is silly. Okay. okay, and then from there, probably uh, wait till Holston falls, then park the whole army there, and then we're going to start ferrying troops over into Pomerania. We're going to bypass the Where zone of control. This location that we're in right now? This is... Which country? That is the country of Verdun, who Pomerania would have called in had you made them co-belligerent. Okay, but I don't need to stay there. There's no point in sieging down their stuff, right? No, they're not in the war. Okay. If just you're not had, sure... Just had military access, is all. Yes. Okay. Yep. If you're not sure who you're at war with, again, you just press the E key and you can see who's red and who's not. Uh, we could trade. We have a couple options here now. We're just going to pop up. We can uh, lose trade efficiency and lose trade range for... Wait. Lack of protection until the 10th of August. That's not very long at all. For one year only? 10th of August, 1504. It's not even a full year. It's still August. I or just... we can gain uh, one mercantilism and twenty and lose 25 diplo power. Take the mercantilism. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Normally, mercantilism costs you 100 per per one. So if you can get it for 25% of the price, it's, it's good. Okay, I am going to go combine this army because he is. we have... Uh, where is it? Occupied, right? Yes, occupied by Scotland. Okay, I'm gonna go over this way. Uh, actually, okay. actually, what, what you'd like to do is, um, I'm just gonna help you out. We want to speed this whole process up, right? Look at all yeah. the rebels. We got the English separatists at 80%, yeah. the Nethians. We need go, go, to end go. this war as quick as we can. So we're gonna take the whole army to Holston. We don't want to wait for the siege of Lubick before we start start working on Pomerania. So we're instead gonna use this sea tile of Orsund. The fact that we have 17 transports, we're going to take this whole army and we're going to bypass the zone of control yeah. like that as one unit so that if the Pomeranian army shows up, we can fight it. And then from here, you're going to do the same thing, about, but just now head towards Stettin. You know, one, one army on Rostock, one army on Strassland, keep working your way over east. You're going to find a stack, probably going to be like a 7, 8, 9 stack, something like that from Pomerania. Yeah. Just kill it. I mean, you should be able to smash its face in with your four cav there. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, I'm going to keep an eye on these uh, rebels. Yeah, it's actually an 11 stack. It's a little bit stronger than I expected. Where did you see it? 
I just saw it. I don't know. Just, just did. Oh, I'm, I'm not like sure. The... Oh, why did I just move? I was at like 90% progress. Did it move? Or did I misclick? Can you can you see the little green bar this time now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you want, just no. go ahead, grab the army, and without moving it, no, I'm not telling you to go just press the D key. That detaches a siege. Now now you should only have the majority of the army. Now you can right-click on Strassland. Okay. Detach will always detach the number of troops required to maintain the siege. So you could do it again can right I, now. Can I siege Winsmar? Uh, Wismar? Yes, I would take that other infantry and go do that. Yep. So detach in Strassland and move to Griffswald. Okay. What was it? D for detach? Yep. It's convenient. And it, it selects the bigger army from that? Automatically, yep. So if you were like in a fort, it would leave behind just enough men to do the fort as well. In this case, it's leaving behind one infantry because it only requires a thousand troops. We have uh, another option here for another pop-up. We can uh, we can lose 1% uh, reform desire. And the papal state's opinion of Scotland will change by plus 20. Norway's opinion will change by plus 20. England's opinion will change by plus 20. None of those things are very useful. And Denmark's opinion will change by minus 40. Or we can take 3% uh, more reform desire. Papal state loses 40 uh, opinion. Denmark gains. Why do I care about either of these? I, it's literally, I don't care about the opinions at all, honestly, because none of them are Castile. It's only Norway, Denmark, and England. And uh, really, the, the question is, do we want more reform desire or not? These, these type of events are designed to force the Reformation to happen. They happen to every Catholic nation. So just take whichever one you think is less impactful on us. If you don't care either way, just, you know, whatever. Well, what's less impactful then? Three plus three reform desire or minus one reform desire? I would say take the one that doesn't piss off the Pope because that affects our papal influence. And we want papal influence. Okay. Okay, uh, I would recommend, in this case, taking that idea now. We took Military Tech 8 because we definitely wanted the to yeah, be equal. Yeah, ready for ideas too. I don't want to take tech 9, though, even though it is a really good tech level. I'd rather finish the idea group first. Plus, 20% siege ability means every siege is going to be... Every siege tick will be six days faster now. I found this stack. Let's go there. And... I'm just keeping an eye on the rebels for us. It's pretty okay. likely we're going to see something fire. In fact, I'm going to turn on some more forts. Another pop-up. Game. Jesus, a lot of these fucking things. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's take a look. It's funny. And gain. This is a really big one. Okay. James McCarthy has uh, begun a thorough revision of our country's military structure. While officers are still drawn from the nobility, the peasants and town people are constructed into other ranks. Regular drilling has been introduced, and a powerful fleet established together with hundreds of battleships, galleys, and other craft. We can reform the army. You would gain 200 military power. Uh, morale of armies goes up by 20%. Military tech cost goes down by 10%. And this is for five years. Mm -hmm. We get the. We can reform the navy. Where similar, we get morale of navies, diplomatic tech cost reduction, uh, and we gain 200 diplo power, which we can't actually get right now. Or we can get this admin we can't get right now. Or we can reform the army and navy, get 100 of each type of power, diplomatic, and we gain morale of armies plus it's like half for each of those, half the bonuses for both of them. Mm -hmm. It's a great event. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty powerful event. So I did have a thought here military power, that's our idea group. Mm -hmm. Reforming the army might be nice. I don't really care about the morale of navies right now that much yeah i would say okay. just, just straight up head-to-head -head comparison of diplomacy points versus military points almost always military points are better unless you were okay. doing a diplomatic idea group right now i would take the military one for sure especially since we're doing a military idea group i mean that basically that's, is, that's half of an idea and yeah, that's, that's really that's a lot and how long was that temporary modifier i think it was is five at least years. 10 five just five? Oh shoot i think it was still 1509 i think so what it said yeah okay so hopefully in the next five years we'll be able to take tech but if not that's fine too whatever we just wanted the military points. They're more valuable. Okay. okay uh, because he's considering attacking you, you want to make sure to reinforce that he's scared and he doesn't actually go for it. Why? I kind of want to fight him. No, you don't. We have no uh -huh. manpower. So what? I just wipe his stack out. Okay. I mean, if you want to fight him, go fight him. You got no zone of control restricting you. Oh, hold on, hold on. Just a second. I want to look at... Oh, it's... It is woods. I wouldn't mind him fighting me here. Let's just wait for him. Okay. I'm ready. Let's see if I can establish... Ooh, that's actually a lot of ships. That's 19 ships. No, 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 no. Yeah, he doesn't want to fight our navy, but I don't really want to fight his navy, so I think we'll just keep up keep this blockade of Lubick. Austrians are at 90%. 0.6 years, 13% chance of firing every month. 
I don't know that we're really going to have a lot of time to, to siege down Pomerania. We may end up just wanting to peace out Denmark, not taking anything from Don from, from Pomerania. Depends on how these siege ticks go. Yeah, 42% is pretty good, though. That's per roll. Mm -hmm. Why is this not actually sieging this fucking province I'm in? You are. You have two oh, siege status. Slowly, okay, okay. You have a 43% chance on each each chicken Lubick. You have 60% war score against Denmark, which is what's important. Is there a stupid fort in this territory? In Stetton? Stetton is a one province, it's a capital. Yeah. There's Lubick. Okay, so we have 69 war score. Um What's our how do I check individual again? I click on Pomerania. Hover over your name on the left side of the war overview. You can see you have 34 individual war score, or mm. you could do it if you tried to negotiate with him separately. It'll show it at the top of the screen. Okay. So here's here's what I'm leaning toward. I really do want that Pomeranian territory, but I'm pretty concerned about rebellion right now, and I'm also yep. concerned about just the amount of unrest we're going to have from conquering all of this land, not to mention aggressive expansion. So first things first, okay. let's find out. If we took everything we could from Denmark right now, what would the coalition look like? Is there going to be one, and how bad would it be? All right. So I can, we have a diplomat free, so I can go to, oh, I thought this was diplomatic actions with Scott, oh, because I'm on the wrong fucking country. All right. So I can click on this, and click on Denmark, click on Sue for Peace. Wow. <laughs> what? It's a lot. <laughs> just, just taking, not even considering Pomerania, just taking the five claims we have on Denmark, we're looking at, uh... England, Denmark, Burgundy, Utrecht, Liège, Galray, Brittany, Bremen, Brunswick, Lundberg, Oldenburg, East Frisia, Friesland. It's, it's a few. It's a number. Of course, we're allied to Sweden, Bohemia, and France, so we've got a really safe, safe, big safety net. Um. I don't know. I think I think I'd I'd prefer to just peace out Take a little bit personally. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna be okay. We're, we're, we already are at four thousand manpower. We're gonna fight rebels. We're gonna have no manpower. We have the money to hire mercs, but we're gonna be recovering for a number of years from this. And uh, the sooner we can peace out, the sooner we can get our war exhaustion to come down. We can get our autonomy to tick down over time. Like it's just I think it's prudent to play it safe here. So. Okay. Uh, in that case, we should negotiate a separate peace with Pomerania, take all their money, and take war reps. And if we can, we should try to make them a null and alliance or something. They okay. Won't, they would accept that. We can uh, we can take two hundred thirty-seven ducats from Pomerania plus war reps. Sound good? Yes. Okay. It does. Done. That's sent. Okay. Now we have more war score with uh, England because there's less nations in the in there. Denmark. Sorry, Denmark. Yeah. We have seventeen reasons for peace. I uh, don't really care about his alliances. So what did you ask for in the end for land? Everything? I haven't asked for anything from Pomerania. We just let them off the hook. We just no, gave... I know. I'm talking about Denmark right now. Ah. Um. Why do we have to ask for... Oh, that's another one. Okay. I'm looking at Skane, Finn, Kolding, Slesvig, and Holsten. All the land that we have claims on from Denmark right now. So everything that was zero cost. Yes. We could we could okay. take more. We could take Bornholm. We could take that little yeah, island. Yeah, I was looking at that. Uh, okay, but if we took uh, the ones we have zero cost on, the ones we have claims on, and then we went to treaties and we took war reparations, that would be good. And then we could pump up gold as well. Yeah, I, I'm actually... Military access. It just forces you to a lot of... They, they can't say no, you have military access no matter what. Okay. Despite the fact that this coalition looks really dirty, are you able to see it? Can you, like, select that peace deal? Uh, so I'm on the peace deal. Where do I see the coalition out of it? I look at the aggressive... That's overextension. There's what's the bit. what's the peace offer value that you're looking at 80. right now? Okay, that's with what Bornholm selected as well, or uh, no? I I pumped up the gold and claimed war reps and took the ones we wanted from provinces. Ah, okay. So you added war reps. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah. So hover over the seventy six point zero. That's the aggressive expansion, and that's where you can see the nations that would be pissed. So some of these uh, don't matter. England, for example. Yeah, because they have a truce with us. Denmark obviously doesn't matter because they'll also have a truce because they're part of this. Okay. But then looking at the rest, it's a lot, but I'm just considering our alliance web. We've got Sweden, Bohemia, and France that will all defend us if we are attacked. So I think we can yeah. afford this. Okay, I'm, I'm down for that. 
Last time AI warded us, it was really terrible for them and really good for us. So this is peace offer value of 80. When we have war value, war score 74, peace, but we have positive for this. Let's look at this. Positive 112, negative 110. Are we good with this? Yeah, I like it. Okay. If you have it, send it. Done. And we'll wait till tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, prepare for your first coalition. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think, Timing. I think we're going to have to take a break here, but next episode we're going to have to, uh, you know, now figure out how to put down all the rebels. <laughs> That's good. All right. We'll see, see you soon. guys shortly.